If you're looking for a high-end OLED TV, the big question is the LG G4 or Samsung S95D. Which one to choose? Which one will be the best? There are so many questions, right? Well, you have come to the right place. In this video, we will compare the premium TVs side by side so there's no room for confusion. But before we continue on today's video, I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button. This little help of yours helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest our videos to more tech enthusiastic people just like you and me. Thanks for understanding. All done? Let's continue. Both the tech companies are bringing out TVs to suit a range of price points and preferences. But it's often the more premium displays that have the most exciting tech advances, performance upgrades, and competitive specs. But how will these two TVs compare? And which high-end television is going to be right for you and your home? It's time to find out. While the LG G4 follows the LG G3, which was one of the best OLED TVs in 2023, it had a combination of high peak brightness, top gaming features, and a premium design. But last year's model set the bar high, and the Samsung S95D follows the Samsung S95C. Like the LG G3, this was one of the best performing TVs of last year. It was an impressive TV with a bright, colorful picture and great features, especially for the gamers. Now let's dive deeper into the specs. Did you remember back in late February that Samsung finally gave us a hint of how much their new S95D TV would cost, at least in euros? Right off the charts, it looked like prices were going up across their 2024 lineup compared to last year, and the S95D was no exception. Then, by late March, we got confirmation on the US pricing. Here's the breakdown for Samsung's S95D TV. The 55-inch costs 2,600, the 65-inch costs 3,400, and the 77-inch costs 4,600. That, of course, in US dollars. And the LG G4 situation feels familiar, right? Just like last year, the price went up. The good news is that G series TVs are generally more affordable than LG's M series, so it remains one of their best valued OLED options. And here's the breakdown for the LG G4 prices. The 55 inch costs 2,600, the 65 inch costs 3,400, the 77 inch costs 4,600, the 83 inch costs 6,500, and the 97 inch costs 25,000 in US dollars. The LG G4 is loaded with next-gen MLA OLED panel, which is excluded in 97-inch for improved brightness, a new Alpha 11 processor that's four times the power of LG C4's Alpha 9. WebOS with quick cards and voice ID recognition, it has a stand included with the 55 and 65-inch models, a wall mount for larger sizes, a 144Hz refresh rate, which is great for PC gamers, and it also supports Dolby Vision. Now, what Samsung S95D offers? It offers Samsung's brightest third-gen QD OLED panel and anti-reflection coating for vivid visuals, Game Bar 4.0 with AI Auto Mode for games, 4.4K 144Hz AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, which is also great for gamers, and no Dolby Vision, but supports HDR10+, HDR10, and HLG. Not only that, but both the TV offers four HDMI 2.1 ports and ALLM and VRR. In terms of brightness, the LG G4 has a next-gen MLA OLED panel, a brighter picture, a max peak highlighter, and noticeable glare. And the Samsung S95D has a third-gen QD OLED panel, an anti-reflection coating, and 1600 nits peak brightness. The new Alpha 11 AI processor in the G4 will bring us virtual 11.1.2 channels, with Dolby Atmos sound, but the G3 only had 9.1.2 channels. There's also a new voice remastering feature that can isolate and enhance dialogue. When the G4 is paired with high-end soundbars, the wireless lossless Dolby Atmos and DTS audio output will also be supported. In comparison, the Samsung S95C had a better sound system than the LG G3. We can expect the same speaker configurations as last year, that's 4.2.2 channels of audio. The LG G3 was an almost perfect TV as per reports. This means if the LG G4 is packed with enhancements to its performance, picture and usability, it could be one of our best TVs of 2024, especially now it offers a stand. 
There's stiff competition from other brands as well as LG's own range. The LG C4 might be a step down from the G4, but with many improvements on last year's C3, that might be a better option for most people unless they really need the high-end performance of the G4. We can't say so far that the LG G4 can beat the Samsung S95D. The Samsung S95C that came before it was also one of the best TVs of 2023. So what's your opinion? Let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, then why don't you check out my other videos shown on the screen? Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.